Good morning, Eva. Your interview is about to begin. My interview? Already? Make sure you record it. Today in other news, a sad story is unfolding on Hatmaker Street, where we're going live to Mark Callahan for Channel Sensation. Mark, can you tell us more about the situation? A 40-year-old resident of this building, whose name has not been released, shot himself in the head, and in doing so, scared many of the children who live here. It's my part. I'm here I with can't another resident. It. Hello, Eva. Thanks for being with us. First of all, did you know the victim? Yes, Mark, indeed, I did know him. He was very kind to me. You know, my name is Ava, and I used to bring him cupcakes from time to time. We were perfect neighbors. And did you hear anything? Yes. It, it was very disturbing. I, I heard a big boom, the gunshot, obviously, and then another noise. It was strange. Now I'm pretty sure it was the body falling on the floor. And I said to myself, Something must be wrong. I have to go and see, right? Oh, but how could I have known? Oh, think about his family. But he was living alone. Yeah, I know, but everyone has someone who cares. Well, thank you, Ava, for sharing with us, especially after such a traumatic incident. And now I must warn you, the footage we're about to show might be upsetting to some viewers. Discretion is advised. <laughs> I recorded it. I hope you enjoyed it. Hi, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you back with me on Channel Sensation. This is indeed a macabre story. A 40-year-old resident of this building, whose name has not been released, shot himself in the head, and in doing so, scared many of the children who live here. I'm here with another resident. Hello, Eva. Thanks for being with us. First of all, did you know the victim? Yes, Mark, indeed. I did know him. He was very kind to me. You know, my name is Ava, and I used to bring him cupcakes from time to time. We were perfect neighbors. Well, I can only imagine how fortunate he was up to such a lovely young lady herself for a neighbor. And did you hear anything? Yes. It, it was very disturbing. I, I heard a big boom, the gunshot, obviously, and then another noise. It was, it was strange. And now I'm pretty sure it was the body falling on the floor. And I said to myself, something must be wrong. I have to go and see, right? Oh, but how could I have known? Everyone has someone who cares. Eva, are you okay? Do you need help? I'm, I'm all right. Um. Anna, could you play the clip one more time? Certainly, Amelia. Hi, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you back with me on Channel Sensation. This is indeed a macabre story. A 40-year-old resident of... Eva, darling, hi. Oh, hi, Mrs. Blavatsky. How are you? I saw you. Excuse me? I saw you on TV. Oh, what a sad story. Oh, you are wonderful. So dramatic. It's a good start. But remember, darling, you need to strike while the irons are hot, or it's all going to stop. What do you mean? Fame. It always ends at some point. And I know, because I was very popular back in the day. Really? Yeah. And I can assure you, there's no better feeling than being on TV. But it never lasts. Never? <laughs> well, I can't say I don't know why you're here. The exhilarating experience of being on television the desire to carry the responsibility of the information. All this can change a life, Ava, but... What is it that makes people believe? Um, dreams? Facts, Ava. 
people believe in facts. Do you realize how important our job is? <laughs> yeah, you come here to pitch us a segment on baking? Everything comes at a cost, Ava. There can never be a segment like this on our show. What Amelia means is you need to give us something powerful for God's sakes. Unexpected, timeless. Your concept has no guts. We need to tantalize his sensibilities. Whose sensibilities? The viewer, of course. He's a fickle person. He grows bored at lightning speed. He's waiting for something, something. He doesn't know what it is, but I can assure you, it isn't cupcakes. But I'm a terrific baker. And you can't deny everybody loves cupcakes. You're making a big mistake here. On the contrary, I think I've made myself pretty clear. But you don't even understand the concept. The concept is not for us. It's not even original. still on TV? Searching? No. Really? There is no mention of you on any channel. TV again? The common advice is that you should strike while the iron is still hot. Welcome to Channel Sensation. Thank you for joining us. Today we bring you breaking news. Going down Sunset Boulevard at a shocking 100 miles an hour. With breaking news, the hottest new recording, new recording act of miles an hour. He's been thrown in jail and it's not known at this point when he might be released. This sensation has exclusive photos of... Jail, and it's not known at this point <laughs> when he might be released. Be a good girl and invite Mrs. Blavatsky to tea. I need some company. Message sent. Do 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 do. Rodenticide is a toxic product with trioxide of arsenic made and sold for the purpose of killing rodents. Thank you. You can turn yourself off now. Eva, I'm detecting an accelerated heartbeat. Do you need to talk about it? This is the way the world works. Everybody evolves. But it seems that change is not always good. Why do you care? You don't even have a body. And didn't I tell you to turn yourself off? Men's natures are alike, but it's their habits that carry them far apart. Confucius said that. <laughs> this man seems to have respectful thoughts for humans. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure he's dead. He is, but it doesn't prove that he was wrong.
He said yes? He didn't even like the idea. Oh, I'm not surprised, honey. That's what they do. They use you, and then they let you down. And then what are you going to do about it? Well, about that. But I can give you some advice. Always know who's asked to kiss. And know that no matter what you do, it's never enough. Mmm. Oh, the things I had to do back in the day to have my moment. Oh, the sex. Now that was something. Oh, wait for the tea. It's hot, but please, have a cupcake. You know, darling, you look tired. It's not good for the business. You know, nowadays, you always have to be on top. And I know because I was taught how to act in front of the camera. You need to know something about every subject. And you need to know how to create the mise en scene. Theatrical skills. I agree. Think about the subject, Mrs. Blavosky. Humanity responds to primary impulses. And if I can create the perfect scene with the perfect stage, one the world will never forget, I could win. Well, let's start with the basics, darling. Don't wear blue. Blue is sad. People don't want to feel sad. They want something exciting. What kind of cupcake is this? The flavor, what kind of cupcake is it? Lemon with ginger. Oh. Mm. 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 Oh. Oh. Mm. That's sensational. Mm. Mm. You're right about excitement. But now, the world is like a reality show. The audience wants something honest. Something glorious and despicable at the same time. <laughs> and do you know why? Because everybody loves bad people. Mm. <laughs> I understand that now. I had to learn to play the game properly. <laughs> Don't blame me, okay? It's obvious that she wanted to be on the screen one last time. Today we have an amazing story for you. Channel Sensation has received an exclusive video which appears to be tied directly to a murder. Yes, indeed, Amelia. I'm standing in front of 586 Hatmaker Street where the murder took place just before 9 p.m. last night. While it certainly does appear that Ava Johnson is indeed responsible for this grisly crime, one can't help but wonder why anyone would choose to turn something as benign as a cupcake into a murder weapon. And right now, the police are escorting the suspect. Miss Johnson, uh, Miss Johnson, uh, Ava, just a few words if you don't mind. Why did you do it? Did you plan this far in advance? You're live on Channel 